Moin, this is Timo Buske and you are watching Blit Photo Tutorials. Today is an awesome day because I'm going to edit one of my favorite shots ever. Hi and welcome to one of my favorite shots ever. I took this and again further. So let's go for it. Um, first thing I want to do is rotate and crop. So I take the rotation tool and use as reference, as rotation reference, uh, one of those guys down here, one of those lines. Yeah, this looks straight. Let's, let's just check one more time. Yep, this is good. Now let's crop it. I want to get rid of those lines down here because it's, for my taste, a bit far at the border of the image. So I will just crop it away. That works. Okay. And now let's care about the light. Again, standard workflow, desaturate. And what we can see here is um, the problem is that uh, the object itself is a bit too dark here uh, compared to the background. So I will brighten this up massively. So first thing I want to do is increase the brightness a bit. But as you can see, um, the object now is bright, but the background is a bit too bright maybe. So we will try to um, recover this. First thing we can do is uh, decrease the contrast. Add a little of vignette. That also makes the sky a bit more interesting up there. And yeah, I want to recover the highlights by um, this HDR tool. I will crank up the highlight value is crazy. And you can see that this really adds a lot to the sky. And um, additionally, I want to brighten this up even a bit more by bringing up the shadows. This should be sufficient. <clears throat> okay, now let's bring back the whites with the levels and yeah, maybe brighten it up just a little. Yeah, this now feels really sunny and bright. I think we can leave it like this and um, okay, maybe we should add a little gradient to the sky because that is a bit boring up here. So I will draw a gradient and bring down the brightness to about 30 or something. That looks really good. Okay, let's care about the sharpness. The most important area for me is this rope here. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's sharpen that up a bit. Um, Startup workflow, radius to minimum, amount to maximum. Slowly increase radius until it is okay for me. So let's go for a higher well value around 0 0.8 and bring down sharpness a bit. Okay, let's add a little of structure. That looks really good. Um, okay, I think we can get rid of this here because uh, maybe it's... Mm, I want to focus on the object here itself and not this piece of crap here. So let's add a clone layer for this. Draw a mask. This should be really easy. Um, happening. Oh, it works. Okay, let's switch to healing layer. Perfect. Okay, um, I think for the light part we are good now. Um, we now can care about the colors. I will increase the saturation. This looks good, but I don't like the tint. For me it's a bit too greenish. Um, and a bit too cold because it's a really sunny day so let's bring up the temperature just a bit 
yeah, around 6k, this is good. And I wanna turn this greenish tint a bit more towards magenta, so I will increase the tint a bit. Around four, this is this is good. Okay, yeah, I'm already pretty happy uh, with this result. Um, so let's do the before after check. Before after, we added a lot of brightness to this object here, and I think we can try something. I will create another variant and just crank up the saturation a bit, just to see how it looks. Yeah, I think this also works, so maybe not 25, maybe around 20. I think we can keep this variant as well. I hope you liked the video and thanks for watching.